Hello, this is John, and uh, this will be a tutorial on how to colorize a photo. Um, this is a picture that I've uh, recently fixed. There were spots and stuff, and I smoothed out a skin. Um, and anyway, this is my grandfather in elementary school. Uh, I'd say it's around 1925, 26, somewhere around there. Anyway. Okay, this is in grayscale at the moment, so what I need to do is go to mode, and then you can either select CMYK or RGB, depending depending on how you what type of printer you have. Um, but I have a five color printer, so um, I'll select that. Next thing you need to do is create a new layer, and I'm going to start with skin. Now I'm going to use the paint tool and then come in here, select a color and that seems to be right for the skin tone that the person has. And then just do a rough painting. Of all the skin you can see. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you can uh, come in and clean up the edges later. The next thing that needs to be done is down here in this little box, click the drop down arrow, and it dropped up. But cl uh, select color, which should be the second thing up. And see how it made that translucent? Okay. Now. What you need to do is uh, fix the color and hue and saturation. So for the hue and saturation, press Control or Command if you're using a Mac, U. And then right here is the thing that says Colorize. Click the box. As you can see, it kind of made it a little dull, but you can fix that by kicking the saturation up. And pretty much, it's it's whatever what, whatever your eye think is thinks is right. So there's that. Um, you can mess with the hue, but it, you really don't have to because we're going to be fixing the color by pressing Control or Command B, which will bring up your color balance menu, and you can just shift it to whatever seems right and again it's pretty much go with what your uh, gut tells you okay alright so since I'm moving on to something different then I'll come in here and clean this up oh too much control Z or command Z for undoing if you're not familiar with keyboard shortcuts. It's a little smaller. I'm just going to try to do this real quick. It's as quick as I can with making it look good. Okay. And if you don't do it right, like you see right here above his ear, or actually it is his ear, um, the color doesn't look right, um, you're not going to be able to get the paintbrush and redo the painting, because if you paint over, it'll make the color um, deeper, so it'll look funny. So, what I recommend doing is coming in with the smudge tool, which is the little finger and then just smudging the color back to where it needs to be and also around this time or when you're originally painting you can uh, get the eyes you can erase around the or the erase the eyes 
Erasing eyes is actually uh, color over the eyes is actually kind of difficult because it's hard to tell where the eye begins, where the eye eyelid begins and the eye ends. Erase this. Alright, so that looks decent. I might have some color adjustments I can do. Uh, but that's pretty much what you gotta do through the whole picture. Um, but yeah, so I'll finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like then. Now we have the skin, and I stopped the video and I pretty much finished it but there's a couple little finishing touches that I'd like to show you okay so we have hair eyes background wood part of uh, the yellow part of the tie and red part of the tie kinda looks like Harry Potter and his shirt and then the desk I'm gonna create a new layer here call this one face and we're basically going to do what we like we did before but right around the, the cheeks and the forehead and sometimes the chin depending how it looks just like that and then go to color again and Control U, U and saturation, colorize. It's just to give the face a multi multi-tonal look. If multi-tonal is a word. Clean that up there. If it doesn't look right, like on the chin. color his hair or anything. But if that is actually probably want to kick the saturation down a little bit more here. Like that, okay. And also with older people that have bags under their eyes, um, you can put purple. A very light shade of purple under their eyes. But since it's just a young boy, I don't think we need to do that. Alright, and the next thing is fingernails. Every time I see a colorized photo, the fingernails are what really bugs me. So, again, new layer, nails, and you can even use the same red, just like this. No, that's not a finger. Well, that's a finger, but... Okay. Yeah, the fingernails are, are always a tell for me. That it's colorized, even if it looks perfect. Okay, and then... Oh, a color. Control U. And... Even if, if you look at your, at your fingernails, they're... They're kind of a shade or two different than your actual fingers. So, okay. I'm coming in here. Clean up that. And unless it's a woman, you really don't want it to look like fingernail polish. Which this might when I zoom out here. Oh, actually, it looks pretty good. And... There's still a couple little tweaks I can do, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. And thank you for watching, and have a nice day.